Commencing the dive to the heart. Ready, Keyblade. This is an unjust world. A false world. Let's destroy it, together. It's the best way for middle-aged men to make friends with, like, 11-year-old girls, is be like, yeah, the world sucks, you wanna blow it up? beauty and so mournful too just like him oh this is uh, I don't think YouTube's gonna be happy about this I recognize that mask wasn't that that was like the dude at the very start or something we saw the dude wearing the mask at the start of the game you think YouTube's gonna let me get away with that one I mean it was all like digitally and stuff it's probably fine right Sure, you're the main squeeze of the man in the mask, but you're endable, expendable, so hope you brought a casket. Ooh, zip, talk about a fall. RS has got you, but you're back against the wall. That didn't look good. That looked bad. Good thing soul hacks always have memories come in threes. No. I can't die here. Not until I know the truth. <sighs> A lot easier the second time around. And you are? Relax, lady. You don't have to glare like that. My name's Rango. I'm an agent of Ion. I'm a super intelligent being born from the Sea of Information, and I'm here to stop the apocalypse. Okay, I believe you. And what does this super intelligent being want with a dead woman? Well, Melody, how about I show you? Just come with me, and we'll go back. I'm dead, you simpleton. There's no going back. Why are you even here, anyway? I'm gonna save the world. That's more than the world deserves. Okay, guess it's gonna take a little more than that. So that's it. This is where you die and you're okay with that? Because it sounded to me like you had something you still needed to do. You were running away. You wanted to survive. So take my hand, Melody. And you can survive. You'll get one more chance to make things right. Hey, she's back! I guess it's true. Ion really is something else. I like those earrings.
we gonna say anything? Anyone gonna talk? Are we having a telep telepathic communication right now? All right, good conversation. So Ion is a non-human being born from a bunch of information, and you are like a splinter of it. That much I get. That also explains how I'm back from the dead. What I don't understand is why you're here. Wait, Melody. We're not with Phantom. We're here to protect you. Hmm? What are you talking about? Right, so, uh... I'm actually with Yadagarasu. My being with Phantom was all an act. These two here are helping me with my mission. Yadagarasu? Then you're still my enemy. Only if you're still a summoner for Phantom. They're after you too, aren't they? Doesn't seem like either of us is in the best spot. <sighs> Could you even go back to the Phantom Society at this point, Melody? I think it'd be kind of hard. Tch, what's your point? I'm saying we can help you. And it's not like we're asking you to spill your soul, so why not hear what we have to say? If your only concern is what you'll get out of it, that's fine. Even if you decide to act alone, a little more info couldn't hurt, right? <sighs> I suppose I'll take you up on your offer. For now. Then, it looks like Melody's safe and sound. Sure took a lot of effort, though. Now then, we'll want to go over everything we've learned so far. That should help us get a better understanding of the situation. There's still way too much we don't know. Like about covenants and how you two factor into all of this. For now, we should get out of here. This place is dangerous, but where should we go? If you need a place, I've got a safe house I've been using. We should be free to talk there. He can show us his tree that he's so proud of. <sighs> Thank you, Arrow. Let's hurry then. All right, let's return to the entrance and head back to the safe house. Seems easy enough. But what's this way? It's locked and cannot be opened. All right! We will not be going that way. Wait. Where? Oh, there's a left turn right here. Is this a fast travel back? A new portal has been all I was about to say, surely they're not going to make me walk all the way back. Once you've discovered special waypoints known as portals, you'll be able to instantly teleport between portals within the same dungeon. Very SMT5. They can make long dungeon treks much more efficient, so keep an eye out for them. Back to the entrance. Let's get out of here. The covenant that appeared from a lady or a Milady's corpse was unexpectedly absorbed into Fig. After resurrecting the caustic Milady, the group heads to Arrow's safe house. All right. Look at that tree. What a nice place we have here. I'm worried the second I start speaking, they're gonna start talking. Thank goodness he has so hmm. much furniture. Not really what I expected, but it's not bad. Glad you like it. Fig, Millie, feel free to make yourselves at home, too. Thank you for everything, Arrow. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. Arrow, you were trying to save Millie because of that light form thing, right? Guess there's no point in hiding it now, is there? Yeah, that's right. The Covenant came out of Milady, and then went into me. <sighs> I get that these Covenant oh, things are important somehow, but I'm only- Sorry, I accidentally pressed X twice by mistake. <sighs> of course. It's because I died. I get that these Covenant things are important somehow, but I'm only just now starting to wrap my head around it. Chaos, do you recognize Milady's voice? She hasn't really said much, so no. I'm just now starting to wrap my head around it. Can you tell me more about them? 
You two are devil summoners, after all. Hmm. <laughs> all right. This is my understanding of it. Covenants are like a big source of energy, and they've been passed down from soul to soul for generations. Supposedly, these covenant holders wield great power. What kind of power? Well, simply put, possessing a covenant awakens the holder's latent abilities. In some cases, it can even spark, well, evolution. They say there's a total of five covenants out there. Having one is powerful as it is, but the effects would only go as far as the individual could take them. Time to gather the covenants and summon Shenron! Now, if someone were to possess all five, then that'd be something else entirely. Gather up all five covenants, and you could... You could what? You could call forth what's known as the Great One, a being prophesied to bring ultimate destruction to the world as we know it. That's what they say, at least. Coffee Dragon. Summoning this Great One is Phantom's top priority. Am I right, Melody? Please. You don't really need me to confirm that, do you, Mr. Double Agent? If the Holder dies, the Covenant gets passed on to someone else. As a result, there's almost always some sort of conflict surrounding them. What a surprise. Voice actress is not ringing a bell out the gate. Apparently it's someone I should recognize, though, because people in chat recognize it. I see now. So when Melody died, the Covenant found a new owner in Fig. These Covenants, and this world-ending Great One you mentioned. I believe these may be the seeds that make Ion's prediction come true. Gotta be. Considering we're trying to stop the end of the world, the Phantom Society's shaping up to be a pretty big obstacle. Agreed. And now that we know their intentions, we must protect this Covenant inside of me at all costs. That's going to be a problem for me. Forget it, Melody. Our summoning abilities are... changed. We don't have control over our demons. Ringo does. We think it might be due to the soul hack. Excuse me? No one told me about this. We're telling you right now about it. He, he just did. Don't look at me. Oh, there are dialogue decisions in this game? It's Futaba's voice actress. Uh, get timed out. I don't like to be told those things, so get timed out. Uh, this is Erica Lindbeck? Excuse me? No one told me about this. That's going to be a problem for me. If the Holder dies, the Covenant gets passed on to someone else. As a result, there's almost always some sort of conflict surrounding them. What a surprise. I guess I can kinda hear it. If the Holder dies, the Covenant gets passed on to someone else. As a result, there's almost always some sort of conflict surrounding them. What a surprise. I've never heard Erica Lindbeck do a role with this style of her voice. I can, like, kind of hear it if I, uh, if I, like, focus on it. But, like, all of the lie, like, what, I mean, I've heard Erica Lindbeck do Futaba, and then Jesse from FF7 is the only other one that immediately comes to mind. I'm sure I've heard her in some other roles. But I don't ever remember hearing Erica Lindbeck pitch her voice this low. So I don't think I ever would have recognized it was her. Just goes to show how skilled of a voice actress she is. Zarios, thank you so much for subbing with Prime for three months. Greatly appreciated, man. Thank you for the support. Yeah, there's no reason to blame Arrow. He's being a cool dude. Oh, it actually tells me what options give me, like, a boost to who? Interesting. I don't know if I like that or not. So, like, logically, I feel like in this case, I would want to get more soul points with Melody. However, I wanted to say there's no reason to blame Arrow. So, I'm going to do that. There's no point in blaming Arrow. He's in the same boat as you, Melody. Go ahead and explain it to her, Ringo. Well, it's not as if I wanted to take your powers. I'm not all that sure how it happened myself. I sincerely hope you don't intend to steal my freedom as a summoner. That's exactly the kind of low tactic Yatagarasu would pull. No, you've got it all wrong. I really was trying to help. Were you? 
Then can you prove to me that you and Little Miss High Tech here aren't in on this together? All right, that's enough. Melody, just what is the Covenant to you? I don't think I need to explain why the Phantom Society needs summoners, do I? Right. So you're after the end of the world too, huh? <sighs> hey, Ringo. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. What's up? Ion aren't human, right? So why was the Covenant passed on to Fig? What are you, really? We agents of Ion are highly intelligent beings born from a sea of information. By installing an ego into a simulated human body, the foundation is laid for a soul to develop alongside it. So a machine can have a soul? Yeah, yeah, we've already been through this in Persona 3 and Persona 4 Arena and Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. We get the gist, like, like we can move on here. Is that so strange? Your bodies are practically machines too, albeit fleshy ones. Even for our kind, there is still a lot about the soul that remains unknown. Like where they come from or what they truly are. We're no experts either. They come from plumes of dust, I'll have you know. Bills! Thank you very much for subbing with Prime for two months. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for the support, man. But the self-evident truth is, should one accurately recreate a human body and provide it with a means of control, then a soul will naturally take root. In other words, it's not just this mechanical shell, or rather, this body at play. It's a complex chain of different physiological reactions that shape the soul. <sighs> yeah, I didn't get any of that. The arrow left his PhD at home, unfortunately. Multiply, thank you for subbing with Prime as well. Oh my goodness, all the Prime subs non non-stop. Thank you all so much for the support. Enjoy your emotes and whatnot. Okay, then we're supercomputers trapped inside grandfather clocks. Yeah, that makes sense. In even plainer terms, our origins may be different, but we are more or less the same as humans. The trade-off is, in this form we can't operate at Ion's full power, nor do we have access to massive amounts of data like we used to. Ah, uh, I see. I guess that's why they said this form was the most ideal for our mission. Can't really soul hack if you don't have a soul yourself, can you? Oh, that's right, Ringo. I meant to tell you earlier, but I've made a new discovery. It's about Target Alpha, Ichiro Onda. If I remember right, that's the famous computer engineer. What about him? Fig was acting separately from me at the time. She was trying to protect Onda just as I was trying to protect you, Arrow. And they both really screwed it up. The mission was a failure, but I managed to restore the surveillance camera footage. I found a video of what happened in the 24th Ward Municipal Tower. And? He was killed by someone named Iron Mask. Did you say Iron Mask? The leader of Project C finally makes his move. It was him. So, you know him. Or well, I guess you would, seeing as you two are together. You are? He called himself Iron Mask. Are you absolutely certain? Let's take a look at the footage. Outputting video. Impressive. I can't imagine how many security measures were in your way. You're no mere trespasser. Ichiro Onda, I presume. The greatest computer engineer of our time. It's a pleasure. And you are? I am the leader of Project C. You may call me Iron Mask. <laughs> a bit on the nose. Was Black Suit taken? Or are you a prisoner broken free? Well, it's fine. You're welcome to celebrate with me, Masked Man. So is your little wallflower. <sighs> it's complete. A system to shatter the status quo with a perfect name to shake the very foundation of academia. The Omni System. Glorious, isn't it? Can't you feel its power? But now it's finished, and I'm done with it. 
If you're a thief, then go ahead and take it. You've designed a masterpiece, Doctor. The Omni System will uplift mankind to new heights. Alas, I'm afraid your part in our grand pageant ends here. We want something quite different from you. I should have known. If you don't want my creation, then you must be after me. Well, what dwells within me? You want the Covenant. Ah, you're already aware. You do know I'm a genius. Nothing personnel, kid? Say, masked man, one last tip. Call it a parting gift from a genius. No one can control the future. Iron Mask. This man really made the Omnitrix and then said, I'm out. Dude, that doctor guy was sick. I'm so upset that he's dead already. Also, that guy's hair is so dumb. At least I have a future. Yeah, you sure told him. You. Goodbye, Ichiro Anna. Your covenant serves you well, but it will serve me far better. Dude, Anna's dialogue was great. Was black suit taken? <laughs>